the slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't Hey team, I know a lot of you out there are trying to run or are trying to or asking this question of how to run a sub three hour, 30 minute marathon. And you know, this that particular time is very competitive, 329.59. Uh, in order to do that, really, again, it comes back to quality training over just volume. Okay, you can still be running a high amount of aerobic base mileage and, and still build an enormous endurance base but it comes down to if you want to get eight minute mile pace or 459 kilometer pace for 42.2 kilometers or eight minute mile pace for 26.2 miles to feel more in control you have to spend a higher percentage of your weekly volume training down under seven minute mile pace or down closer down toward four minute kilometer pace and again it's it's also about longevity okay this is to break three hours and 30 minutes most of you, it's going to take anywhere from six months to even out to a year to achieve this, okay? It's always a better approach to do a longer build-up rather than trying to cram this, this sub-three-hour, 30-minute marathon uh, goal of yours in a 8- to 12-week block of training, okay? So quality over quantities always should be your focus when you're trying to break three hours and 30 minutes. And I always talk about the importance of running the tangents in the race. Do the least amount of work that you possibly can do. Run the least amount of distance as you can in the race as you're running the race versus your competition, okay? That just simply means getting to the far right of the road if there's a right-hand turn coming or if there's a left turn turn coming up. Get to the left-hand side of the road. Don't spend your time running on the right-hand side of the road when you have to run all the way across the road to get to a point where you could just maintain being on the right side of the road and run less distance. Um, the key workouts I would recommend for all of you that are trying to run under three hours and 30 minutes is get that long run out further, out toward around 20 to 23 miles in length, and also get beyond. Okay, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you already know running relaxed every single weekend. If you're training for a marathon, uh, and, and other events as well, is, is definitely going to make you very strong endurance-wise. It's still very important to do that. But you have to start mixing in some VO2 max effort, some an running an anaerobic threshold effort during your long run, uh, and, and not just run steady and slow every single weekend for your long runs. Okay, That was one of the biggest reasons, that uh, biggest tactics that I used to help me improve from 243.36 for the marathon in my debut to 219.35 for the marathon. Okay, going from 614 mile pace to 519 mile pace is a dramatic uh, uh, improvement in, in overall pace per mile and pace per kilometer. So I did that by, again, longer buildups and thinking long term. Okay, some of you, maybe you're at 430 right now and you're, and you're trying to get to 329. Know that it's going to take you a long period of time in order to do this okay it doesn't matter if it takes you 12 months six months or five years or ten years to do it the end goal is to run that 329 59 time so you have to make sure that your enthusiasm your mindset is set up for success okay you're not just going to go out there and do this easily okay it's not a, a it's not a slow marathon time it's an extremely competitive time okay so for you to make that next jump in your training you have to start changing up your tactics, okay? That means doing longer intervals, okay? Three to four, five kilometer reps on the roads uh, running at half marathon race pace, okay? Again, spending time below that eight minute mile pace or 459 kilometer pace so that you again get that goal sub three hour, 30 minute marathon time and effort and pace to feel less aggressive for you. Hydration is critical if you want to break three hours and 30 minutes. If you're not paying attention to your hydration as well as your caloric intake in the race, it's going to be much more difficult for you to break three hours and 30 minutes. Okay, You can still do all the training, the physical training correctly, but if you neglect taking in calories in the race, okay, those gels that are out there on the market, 
give you between 100 to 200 calories immediately to your bloodstream when you take those. Okay, so practice hydrating more in your long run. Start dropping your water bottles out every three miles or every five kilometers during your long run. Drop some gels throughout that long run too as you prepare for your main uh, event. And ingest both more calories and, t and practice taking in more fluid during your long run so that again, you can find out how much your stomach can withstand prior to getting to your goal race. Okay, again, it's it's pre-planning correctly to break three hours and 30 minutes. You know, the question of how to run a sub three hour, 30 minute marathon is, is not so much just about the aerobic base building phase. Okay, yes, you do. I would recommend doing four to eight weeks of easy aerobic base mileage before you start a 16 to 20 week buildup. Again, you build that foundation first, you, you strengthen the ligaments, you strengthen the muscles of your body, and then you start into specific marathon training as well as you know specific marathon training, and then you transition from that into speed specific marathon training where you're, you're working at VO2 max effort, you're working closer down toward 5K to 10K race pace, so that again, you're, you're, you're getting that sub three hour, 30 minute marathon pace to feel easier for you. Um, find, find your why and what you're doing, okay? I mean, it took me several years to, to run 219 for the marathon, okay? Don't think that if you have a, a small amount of talent, you can't run faster than you, than you ever believed you could, okay? This is about your drive and motivation and, and your, your focus to become a top level runner, Okay, and breaking three hours and 30 minutes run that 329.59 time, you're going to have to be doing quality speed sessions each week, one VO2 max workout each week, you know, i.e. track sessions. If you're doing repeat 300s, repeat thousands on the track, might mean 10 1,000 meter reps for the athletes trying to break three hours and 30 minutes. That might mean starting off at threshold effort, running 10 uh, or maybe five 1K reps at 440 per rep with three minutes of recovery, and then working your way down to around 403 to 410 per 1K rep, but extending the, the reps out to 10 and lowering your recovery from three minutes to two minutes of recovery as you get fitter, okay? Breaking a three-hour, 30-minute marathon, one, uh, another type of workout that I really like doing uh, that helped me get under 220 was doing... Um, doing progression runs okay that might mean for me it might mean starting off at like 610 then going six flat 550 540 530 520 510 five flat you know or and just gradually you know turn the screws and, and, and getting faster with each rep um, it might mean doing um, you know or or doing another favorite of mine was doing uh, during my long runs uh, doing 10 to 13 1K reps in the middle of the long run at around 515 mile pace or around 316, 318 kilometer pace with a float 1K running around 540 to six minute mile pace. Okay, so those floats were still very fast. But again, you have to know, you have to make sure that first you build your fitness first because these types of long runs are extremely tough in order to uh, get through. They're the hardest workouts that I do. Um, they are the types of workouts. I mean, I was doing when I first joined the military in 2002 as an enlisted soldier. I, I'd spent several years, you know, tr tr competing in, in track and cross country and road racing as a high school athlete, as a collegiate athlete before, uh, well before joining the military. So again, it's it's consistent work over a long period of time, and you have to have that de belief and delay gratification if you truly want to be great in this sport. Okay, we all have different goals and aspirations. Some of us just want to start and finish a, a 10K. Some of us want to lose weight. Some of us want to qualify for the Olympic trials, make the Olympic team. You all have your own goals and, and missions in this sport. But breaking three hours and 30 minutes for the athlete that's trying to do that, again, you want to think about uh, your overall quality of, of training, okay? If you're doing like repeat um, 1200s, starting off at threshold, running around 536 per each one of those 1200s, giving yourself three minutes for recovery, dropping that time down to 452 to five flat per 20 to, per 1200 meter rep as you get more anaerobically fit. Uh, and lowering the rest, always start off more conservative in your, your, your repetitions 
less uh, duration, like, you know, starting off, it might mean doing three to four 1200 meter reps when you're first getting started. Again, starting off running around 536 per rep with three minutes rest. And then it may mean working toward getting that those 1200s out to around eight to 10 1200s. So you're doing more distance, but your repetitions are also faster. Again, 452 to five flat per 1200. Okay, so breaking three hours and 30 minutes can be done. Other athletes have done it. If they can do it, so can you. Okay, it's just a matter of consistent action, being relentless, being nonstop with your training, visualizing success, implementing mental rehearsal into your training as well as your physical preparation as well, uh, and, and believing in what you're doing. Okay, if you have uh, any other questions or concerns about the sub three hour, 30 minute marathon barrier, feel free to leave me a comment below. Let me know what's on your mind. Uh, let me know in the comment section also, if you've already broken this barrier, where are you currently at in the marathon? I look forward to hearing from all of you and, and, and hearing where you're currently at in the distance and what your goal time is in the marathon. So I wish you guys and gals all the very best in your training, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.